Act was also reached today in another high profile legal case. A jury convicting Broward County Judge Cynthia Imperato for driving under the influence. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from West Palm Beach with more. Carrie. Rick, Judge Cynthia Imperato will spend 20 days on house arrest and serve a year on probation as a result of this conviction today. What happens next with her seat on the Broward County bench remains to be seen. Judge Cynthia Imperato gave no reaction when the jury's verdict was read. Jurors found the veteran judge guilty of driving under the influence and reckless driving. Judge Imperato left the courtroom without speaking to reporters. Her attorney, Mark Shiner, said Imperato was stunned by the verdict. Uh, devastated. Uh... Not very happy about, about what happened, of course. Imperato was sentenced to 20 days of house arrest and 12 months on probation. She'll also pay a $2,500 fine and have her driver's license revoked. She has to attend two AA meetings a week and perform 150 hours of community service. I've never seen anyone get that uh, in a non accident case. Uh, nobody was injured. Very unusual. Imperato's attorneys said they will appeal the verdict. A police officer arrested Judge Imperato in November 2013 in Boca Raton after witnesses say she was driving erratically. Police said the judge refused a breathalyzer and had glassy bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and admitted drinking prior to driving. Prosecutors say Imperato deserved a serious punishment. She endangered three people that night, and we don't know how many people were in those cars. The testimony came out from Mr. Bartholomew that she nearly sideswiped two cars on two separate occasions, and those cars, luckily enough, were able to have reflexes or the wherewithal to avoid that type of circumstance. Prosecutors said Imperato had a prior DUI conviction in 1988. Following her arrest last year, she was removed from the, the criminal bench in Broward and moved to the civil bench. What happens next? Well, that's up in the air. I spoke to the Florida Judicial Qualifications Commission. That's the agency that investigates judges in Florida. They said their cases are confidential, but then in similar cases like this, where a judge is convicted of DUI, the reprimand could range from a reprimand to actual removal from the bench. Live in West Palm Beach, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. Carrie, thank you.